Hello guys, Dan here from Dance Take, and today's video guys, we're going to be having a look at the Noctua NH-L9i. This is an incredibly small, uh, low-profile colour from Noctua, uh, featuring a 90mm fan. Now this colour is 37mm in height, making it very, very small, and if anything, uh, actually smaller than the standard Intel stock colour, making it very, very good for HDPCs and also very small form factor cases. It does boast 100% compatibility for RAM, and also PCI Express slots on mini ITX boards, so you're going to have absolutely no problem installing this on your motherboard, and to be honest, you really won't even need to check. Now just for comparison, this colour is going to be compared to the standard Intel stock colour, so this is what that looks like with the copper slug on the bottom, and then to the Slimline colour as well, which is um, really, the Slimline colour is not very good, they do come with a, a smaller fan, the overall height is not very, uh, well, the overall height is a lot smaller, don't come with a soft copper slug, and it, it this really ships with i3s, I believe, and Pentiums. It's a really crappy cooler, in my opinion, but uh, yeah, that's what Intel provide. Now, just as a comparison, just to show you now, this cooler is very, very small. So here is the actual height of this cooler. It's uh, really, really small, and if anything's on par with like the slim Intel stock cooler, so a little bit smaller than the standard Intel stock cooler. It does come with the Nano Mill fan, as I mentioned, and then also, even though it's quite tricky to see, it does feature two uh, heat pipes that are kind of in, in a U shape and do pass um, over the um, the shiny base that this cooler does have. So without further ado, we'll jump into this review and um, here review the NHL Nan I. So peeps, to get started inside the box you get the CPU colour and many standard Noctua accessories like a solid metal case badge, a syringe of NC-H1 thermal paste, a low noise adapter and solid mounting pieces including 4 bolts for insulation. You do also get 4 longer screws under the packaging, you can use these longer screws to add a thicker 25mm fan in the future. Speaking of insulation, the install guard makes the cooler look incredibly easy to install on all Intel LG 11 5X platforms it supports. Not sure to also make an L9A variant of this cooler for all AMD sockets based on the same design. On to an overview, the dimensions are 95 by 95 mm with the height being 37 mm with the 14 mm thick 90 mm fan attached. This makes the cooler ideal for home third of PC builds and other builds where you have very little cooler clearance. Noctua will also guarantee that it'll have no disruption to the RAM modules or the first PCI Express x 16 slot, even on mini ITX boards. This will make the choice of other components a breeze as there'll be no compromises that'll have to be made. The heatsink consists of a very small 24mm or 2.4cm short fin stack of many aluminium fins. Touching the base, although hard to see, they are two copper heat pipes to maximise the cooling potential in such a small package. As for the fan, this is a custom variant of one of Noctua's own retail NF-A9X14 fans, with speeds rated at 2500rpm max or 1800rpm max with the low noise adapter attached. The minimum rated rotation speed is 600rpm, so it should be relatively quiet at idle. The fan is pre-attached with four short screws and rubber dampeners. Onto the mounting, mounting the l 9 is really easy. All you need to do is apply the included thermal paste to your CPU's IHS and to tip your main board upside down onto the cooler's base. With this done, you can screw in the four thumb screws into the cooler from underneath your board, making sure to do this evenly so that the thermal compound can be spread nice and evenly. No backplate is required for mounting, so you don't have to mess around with any tricky small parts. And also do note that I did use Arctic MX4 thermal compound as I've used this for my testing for the last three years. Onto the performance benchmarks, testing this cooler on my usual test rig with an i7-4790K at 4GHz for lower end coolers, this cooler is able to keep the chip at a cool 71 degrees, and with the low noise adapter attached at 77 degrees. When comparing this to the two Intel stock coolers I have on hand, they of course didn't score as well. As for the noise tests I performed, do feel free to take a listen to compare this cooler to the other Intel coolers. So guys, to conclude on the L9i, overall it is a very good cooler for its actual size and for mini ITX builds with very, very small cases and also for home theater PCs, I would definitely recommend it over that slim Intel stock cooler. Now as you've seen, the performance gains from using this over the actual standard Intel stock cooler, you aren't getting much more performance and to be honest, the noise levels of this cooler, even though it is quieter than the Intel stock cooler, it doesn't really win by a big margin. Now, you've got to remember, it does deliver better results and it is a tad quieter, so I will give it that. Now, 
This cooler I would recommend for home theater PCs, but if you are buying mini ITX cases and just overall can support a larger cooler than this, I would recommend not buying this cooler actually and getting the enhanced version that Noctua do sell. It's literally about three or four pounds more than this one here in the UK. So it's not that I'm not recommending this cooler, I'm just saying if you are building a mini ITX PC, which isn't home theater kind of case standard where, you know, they're, they're really, really small then, yeah. Would recommend not getting this and getting the performance enhanced version which is the x65 variant it's given up two or three or four pounds more and you're going to get a miles better color it is a little bit taller but in mini itx cases you really shouldn't have a problem it's just a few centimeters longer and yeah, you do get the four heat pipes and a wider fin stack well it has a higher fin stack it's about double so that would be my recommendation personally but this color for home theater pcs where you literally have no real choice really between it's, it's rather this or like the intel stock color and a very very small selection that other companies do make this is a really good color for that but as i as i've said the the performance enhanced version of this cooler would be what I would personally recommend for mini ITX builds. So guys, that concludes my review of the NHL9i from Noctua. If you've enjoyed this video, do feel free to click that good old like button. If you have any comments, post them below. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.